Frau Ehrlich, ganz, ganz herzlichen Dank an Sie. Ja, und wir machen weiter mit dem nächsten Thema, meine Damen und Herren. Und das ist der Slot von Amazon Web Services. Und da wird es natürlich nochmal um das Thema Souveränität gehen. Es geht um Sicherheit und Innovation und wie wir das Ganze in der Cloud umgesetzt bekommen. Der Vortrag findet auf Englisch statt. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Max Peterson. He is the Vice President of Worldwide Public Sector and Suffering Cloud at HWS. Max, pleasure to have you. Good morning. Good morning, thank you. Well, hello. It's great to be back here in Berlin and speaking on Germany's ongoing digital transformation and its role as a smart country. Um, I've been working with the public sector for more than three decades, and I continue to be inspired by the way that governments and other organizations across Germany are innovating on the cloud and pushing the boundaries to be able to drive advancements and better serve our citizens, uh, deliver better patient care, uh, and, and deliver uh, better health outcomes for all in the local communities. Germany has been leading the way to ensure that these innovative efforts are being driven responsibly and with regulations that support national priorities, safeguard its core values, and continually adapt to the rapidly changing technology landscape. As we discuss the intersection of innovation and governance, there's a central theme that this is rooted in, and that's trust. Trust is a cornerstone of every digital initiative that's being driven by government and by public sector actors, not just in Germany, but across the EU. And we all know that trust is not given freely. It must be earned. Citizens entrust the government with their most sensitive information, and they need to have confidence that that information is going to be handled safely and ethically. And they expect services that they rely on to be secure, easy to use, and available at all times. Likewise, the government must trust the infrastructure that they build their services on and that they store their data in, as well as the private companies that they work with. They need to be able to demonstrate that their data is protected, that privacy is respected, and that control over the data remains within Germany and European hands all while continuing to drive digital innovation. In a world that's increasingly driven by data, the cloud can provide the security, the privacy, and the control that public sector organizations need, while also supporting the scale, the agility, and the speed to innovate um, so that we can keep up with evolving citizen needs. We're seeing these benefits across many sectors. In government services, cloud platforms are helping to streamline processes and to make public administration faster and more accessible. In healthcare, cloud solutions are being used to aggregate and analyze data to improve patient outcomes. Frau Klinikum Mainschiefa, for instance, is the first hospital in Germany to run all of its infrastructure in the cloud and now has over 10 terabytes of patient data and medical data digitized on AWS, which addresses the requirements set forth by both the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, and the relevant German social law for healthcare data. In transportation, smart systems are being powered by cloud infrastructure that are helping to optimize routes and reduce emissions and improve safety. I'm sure that many of you here today at this event use Deutsche Bahn, Germany's largest railway company. Deutsche Bahn uses AWS IoT to power their DB IoT cloud, and this helps them gain new insights and improve efficiency and operations across a network of 6,500 trains um, across Europe. This kind of innovation helps to drive a nation forward but it must not come at the cost of control. And the good news is it doesn't have to. Government leaders and policymakers worldwide are facing the need to balance the benefits of emerging technologies, 
with the need to maintain security, compliance, and resilience. By adopting cloud solutions that align with Germany's regulatory framework, respect the country's commitment to privacy, and adhere to the highest standards of security, this will help Germany continue to advance digital transformation and meet all of these other critical requirements. We also understand that digital sovereignty needs of each sector and country will vary. Cloud services must not only comply to global standards, but they need to be able to meet the specific local regulatory, cultural, and security requirements of the countries in which they operate. There's not a one-size-fits-all for digital sovereignty. You need to be able to consider the specific requirements and the specific compliance schemes when you start building on the cloud. And that's why <clears throat> it's important to have the freedom to choose the right solutions to meet your unique needs. Since day one, AWS has developed our solutions with these needs in mind. The AWS cloud is sovereign by design, and we offer the most comprehensive set of technical measures, operational controls, and contract and legal protections that give customers control over where they locate their data, who can access their data, and how their data is used. Our customers have the ability to choose to deploy their data and their applications to any of our existing eight regions in Europe, or uh, to comply with EU regulations, any of our six uh, cloud regions inside the EU. This includes our Frankfurt region right here in Germany, where we recently announced a further 8.8 .8 billion euro investment. Today, tens of thousands of customers across the world count on the public sector to deliver their mission-critical systems. This is not something that we take lightly, and our role as a cloud service provider says that we must continue to press forward on secure and trustworthy foundations. Security has always been a top priority at AWS because we know it's foundational to digital sovereignty. AWS supports over 140 security standards and compliance certifications that our customers and our partners can directly inherit to help them comply with local laws and regulations. This includes the Cloud Computing Compliance Criteria Catalog, or C5, which was introduced by the German Federal Office for Information Security, or the BSI, and has significantly shaped cybersecurity cloud standards. AWS was the first cloud provider to receive BSI's C5 attestation, and it now covers over 160 AWS services. And this provides our customers with the assurance that they need to be able to meet specific compliance requirements. We've been honored to collaborate with the BSI, and we've been deeply engaged with regulators in Germany and across the EU for nearly two decades. By fostering the type of collaboration we have with BSI, it helps us to align our offerings with national priorities and ensure that our solutions support innovation and control and contribute to these frameworks so that we are aligned as we build new services and as we together drive forward in innovation. This is precisely why we've also been working with the European Union Agency for Cybersecurity also known as ENISA, in contributing to the development of their European Union Cloud Services Scheme, or EUCS, so that when it becomes the official certificate, customers will be able to continue to count on AWS to meet those additional compliance standards as well. To help ensure the confidentiality and the integrity of customer data, AWS regions are all powered by our Nitro system which is designed to enforce strict restrictions so that nobody, including AWS, can access customer workloads on EC2 instances. The security design of the Nitro system has been validated by an independent third-party global cybersecurity firm known as the NCC Group. This helps us build on our commitment and delivers transparency to our customers 
so they understand how AWS services are designed and operated. And we believe this type of transparency is critical to building and sustaining trust on the cloud. Our customers can also tap into our global network of more than 100,000 partners, many exhibiting here at the conference. They're specialized in various competencies and in industry verticals to be able to get the guidance and the local support that customers so often need. For instance, our German partner T-Systems, part of Deutsche Telekom, offers data protection as a managed service on AWS. They provide guidance to ensure that data residency controls are properly configured. They provide services for the configuration and management of encryption keys outside of AWS. And they provide the expertise to customers in addressing their digital sovereignty requirements using the AWS cloud. T-Systems has been working on Toll for Europe, one of the leading providers in the European electronic toll service, to help them meet general and country-specific IT requirements in a common platform running on AWS. This platform processes the data from several hundred platforms, several hundred uh, active platforms and customers, these onboard units um, across 17 European uh, toll operations in 14 different countries every day. And while ensuring that data sovereignty and compliance with GDPR is an important aspect of it, this is also an example of how partners can help customers with their unique requirements and continue to support innovation without constraints. With a focus on giving customers uh, control and choice, AWS provides a wide range of services in our sovereign cloud offerings. We think of the AWS infrastructure and these services as a continuum to allow customers to meet requirements wherever they need to while providing a consistent experience across these environments to help increase efficiency and to help reduce costs. This includes our plans to announce the European Sovereign Cloud, which will give our customers another option to choose to help them meet their unique needs. This will be a new independent cloud located in and, and solely operated within the European Union. It'll have the same security, the same availability, the same performance features as all the rest of our AWS cloud regions across Europe and across the EU and it'll meet all of the same specific and evolving EU regulations. BSI has shown their support for the AWS European Sovereign Cloud, acknowledging that they believe it'll make it easier for organizations with highly regulated industries or government and public sector organizations to be able to meet their higher protection requirements so they can use the cloud to innovate in the same way. Um, and if you haven't yet, I encourage you to stop by the AWS booth just right over there um, so you can learn more, watch the demonstration, and ask your questions from any of our AWS team members. The first AWS European Sovereign Cloud region is set to launch in the state of Brandenburg, Germany by the end of 2025, and we're thrilled about the positive ripple effect that this will have in the local community as well as across Germany and the rest of the EU. As the home of this region, Brandenburg is setting the course to strengthen the state as a business location by establishing the foundations, the digital foundations for a strong digital economy through secure cloud computing. Germany has continued to position itself as a leader by prioritizing and investing in infrastructure that supports this national agenda and that will provide long-term growth. In fact, we launched the Frankfurt region in 2014 nearly 10 years ago, almost our decade anniversary, and this has driven a tremendous amount of innovation and momentum across the country. This joins other AWS investments like AI development labs and edge locations. Looking ahead, Amazon's confirmed that our planned investments in Germany will total some further 17.8 billion euros, and that'll build toward the long-term commitments that Amazon has to helping customers in Germany and across the EU. The cloud's a necessary foundation for AI, which is flourishing around the world and advancing rapidly here in Germany. 
According to research we conducted, uh, German businesses indicate that 36% or have adopted AI in 2023, which is a big increase over 2022. And this is going to unlock more than 600 billion euros for Germany's economy. Looking forward, there's also the opportunity to increase new functions and new capabilities. And this exists across not only Germany, but across the EU to deliver better health outcomes, better citizen services, all while maintaining and earning the trust and security that's necessary. Collaboration is a powerful tool that can help us achieve more significant results than we would be able to do on our own. And it takes collective action to drive lasting change. And we all have a crit critical role to play. And I look forward to the continued innovation and progress that we'll see here in Germany and across the EU by working together. Thank you very much. Max, thank you very, very much. And we stay with the topic of digital sovereignty. Also, we bleiben noch ein bisschen beim Thema digitale Souveränität. Oder